This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, and Bulchi. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Hey. Uh, are you alright? No, no, nothing is wrong. You look, you look beautiful. I'm so, so, so happy to be here with you. But I'm happy to be here with you, not be here with you. And from the moment that we stepped in, I have noticed that there hasn't been a singular point in time where you looked even remotely comfortable I, this is not no this isn't a critique this isn't a criticism your feelings are always valid with me and your feelings are always valid all the time regardless what i'm saying is we were here I said hi to all the people that I wanted to say hi to and said that they looked good and I even danced a little bit. I think I've really gotten everything that I wanted to out of prom. And I got, of course I get to see you in a gorgeous dress and you look gorgeous in a dress. So that's, that's the number one thing. But besides that, it's it's we can go yeah i i don't mind going seriously it you do it is fine i i tonight isn't about prom in itself it's about you and me it's about us to being together and enjoying the night. And if you're not enjoying the night, then we're not enjoying the night. I mean, I don't think it's being super understanding. I think it's the base level of what I should be doing. If, I, if I'm not able to tell that you're not having a great time, with the the body language that you're exuding then i must not know you very well so do you want to maybe just get in the car and uh, drive somewhere special well you are going to have to trust me then aren't you Yeah, you are. <sighs> uh, I, I would hope that you trust me. Because if you didn't, then... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. So what do you say, you and I, me and you, the two of us together, absolutely below this popsicle stand? You can say I am corny for my old tiny phrases as many times as you want, but what do you say about getting out of here, you and me? Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm up for it, but A, there's a 25% chance I'll win it, so there's a 75% chance that I won't, which is overwhelming. And if I do win it, think about how scandalous it will be. Prom King doesn't show up for his own coronation? We'll be all of the talk over the school. <laughs> uh, a good, good attempt, but no, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the special place that I am going to take us. Although that is a very, very interesting thought. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it called an Irish exit? Tell, it's, it's some sort of exit where you just leave and you don't tell anyone. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but are you ready to make ours? All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I, I honestly, when I said I wanted to get out of there with you... I had no idea what that actually meant or where we were going to go, but as soon as we got in the car, I, I knew it was the right move. It's so funny because most schools have their proms at the school and we're, <laughs> we're, and people hate that. And then so we have a prom that's outside of the school and now we're back at the school in our spot. Well, remember when I said I didn't have this plan? That may have been stretching it a little bit. I didn't plan on this happening, but I did have a backup plan, and Dykstra gave me the keys to the back room. Yeah, yeah, he did. So we, uh, we have the whole place to ourselves, but I, I don't really see any other reason than, I mean, any other reason to go anywhere else other than our spot. And look, you can see the sunset. You can see everything, really. Do you, do you remember? <laughs> so I was going to say that, and sure, it's only been like, it was like, couple months ago but it, it seems like it's been a lifetime since then exactly I, fe I feel like I've lived a whole different life with you in that span of time and I could not be more grateful I couldn't So, um, I guess I wanted to ask you a question. <laughs> no, I did, I did not plan this out to ask this question, but it is, I don't know, it is kind of a romantic vibe up here, isn't it? No, I am not trying to make you anxious. I apologize. I will... I will not beat around the bush. I'll just straight up ask you. What, what are we? I, I mean, I, I mean, what are we? Because I have in the past couple months gotten closer to you than I could ever imagine and it has made me the happiest person in the world <laughs> of course there's a but but we never really <sighs> defined things and i i didn't want to push you into defining things because you know, you're so busy with making sure that the 4.3 stays intact and I'm, you know, I'm busy in my own rights. But I, that question of what exactly are we, 
has been kind of lingering in the back of my head. Because after I asked you out, we, I, we're not friends. No, 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 I don't mean we're not friends as in I don't like you, we're not friends. We're, we're, we're something more than friends. And you're my date to the prom, but I don't know if you view this as like a relationship exactly, like a long-term thing. Okay. What are what are your concerns? Well, um, I know that we probably won't be going to the same school, and I know that that can be a little bit confusing and problematic, I guess, but we will probably be in the same state. I mean, I have options of where to go, and I know you're going to be going probably somewhere Ivy League, so we can... I, It might be long distance, but not impossible long distance. We'll both... Honestly, we'll both probably be in California. Um, I can't, I can't for sure predict every single thing, but what I can say is that I know I really would like to make this work. Like really, really would like to make this work. I have feelings for you that I didn't even know were possible. No, I'm not laughing at your concern. Well, like, like I kind of am, but that's, it's. I only have eyes for you. There is no one else in my vicinity but you. When we were at the prom, the only person that I could look at, regardless of who I was surrounded with, was you. You had my intention the entire time, and I know that you saw it. From the moment that you stepped out of the house in your dress to the moment of right now, we almost, we almost went through that red light because I couldn't stop looking at you and was now wasn't paying attention to the road. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You are great. This is the greatest thing in my life right now, and I'll be damned if I lose it to an arbitrary length. Of distance. And I will call you every single day to let you know how much I care about you and how I am constantly thinking about you. And I'll, I'll ask you about your day and listen intently. And, I'll, and you can tell me about, I can tell you, me, you about my day. I want this to work so much that it w will work. The only question is if you want it to work too. <sighs> Look. I know, I know, you know, we've kissed and I know we've sweet talked each other, but I don't know. We never really had a concrete discussion on it. And I am happier than anybody in the world that we have now. 
and that it went the uh, right way. <laughs> yeah, no, I it could have very easily went the wrong way, and then I'd and then I'd have to like drive you home and we wouldn't spend the rest of the night together and then when people asked about oh hey what happened to you why didn't you show up to the coronation and like ah i tried to ask the girl my dreams out and it didn't really work well i know you say yes to this but it could have just been because you know we were comfortable with each other not Oh, was not expecting that one. N no, you goofball. I I just wasn't expecting it. Uh, and the reason I'm kind of shocked is because I, I think I, w uh, no, I don't. I, I know I was planning on saying that to you tonight. It's just that after, I wanted to wait a little bit before all of this information conversation bombs to like wear off. But yes, I, I love you. I do. And if we're being honest, I, I knew it from the moment that I asked you to prom right here. It was the first moment I was like, Oh, this is, this is love. This is, this is what I've been missing my entire life. This is it. Yeah. No, I am. I'm like the happiest person alive right now. You truly and completely have read my mind. You know, I'm going to be glad that we're getting out of here. But I will miss this. I, I mean, we're here in this moment together in our spot. Unless we come back and work here in some capacity, which I don't see either of us doing in the future. This is one of the last times we'll be able to enjoy this spot together. And I'm sure, you know, we'll find our spots in the future. Hopefully, eventually being a porch of a house that we bought together with our children running around outside. That's besides the point. But this spot right here, we might never get back to. So I, I will miss it. Yeah. I guess... Uh, we just have to treasure the feeling that the spot gives us to honor it. And I hope that we will be treasuring that feeling with each other for a very long time. <laughs> yes, maybe forever, even. Okay, one final question before we leave. What do you want to pick up on the way back? Come on, come on. I know you well enough to know that you wanted to get something at the prom because they had the pizza laid out, but you were too anxious because of everything else and all of the feelings, and so you didn't. And now we're here, and I can, unfortunately, I hate to tell you, because my hearing is so sensitive, I can hear the grumbling in the stumbling, so you might as well just be out with it. <laughs> I don't know. I used to think it was because I would try and listen to patterns while playing basketball, but now I just think it was, like, Secret superhero boyfriend powers. 
Ooh, that does sound good. That actually really, really, really does sound good. I don't know. Uh, I'm basically down for wherever you want to go. Okay, maybe anywhere except for there. No, I'm trying to, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't stop. If you hit me right now, I am going to tickle you and we both know that that's not going to end up well for either of us, but it's a risk and a decision that I'm willing to make and take, take and make.